Hello world, this is Dennis, and <sighs> never thought I would be making this video, but uh, this video is going to be kind of, I don't know if you want to say like a tribute or a memorial bit video, but something like that, but I want to go over the stuff that I'm into, and basically the reason why, you know, my dad was responsible for, you know, getting me interest in this stuff. Um... <sighs> My dad passed away last week, Wednesday, which we knew was coming, but it kind of happened quickly. And I know instead of, you know, being all, like, mopey and stuff, he'd want us, you know, to, you know, be happy and remember the good times and everything. So that's what I'm doing with this video. I'm remembering the stuff that dad got me into. And for this one, well, mom helped, too. <laughs> The number one thing that I got into, thanks to Dad and Mom, this is Bad Dude right here. Godzilla! King of the Monsters. Because I've recounted this over and over again, I still remember as a little kid, and it was uh, Channel 18 out of Milwaukee, and Ma checked the TV guy and he goes, I think you're going to like this. So, you know, Dad popped the tape in machine, and it was Godzilla's Revenge, and... After that, I was hooked, and it was, you know, thanks to Dad for <laughs> programming the VCR for the various Godzilla marathons and stuff, you know, taping all the movies for me when I would ask him to. Um, he helped to keep the fandom going, and... <sighs> he was so proud last year when I finally made it to G-Fest. Um... He, he couldn't be more happy for me. So, that's one of the things um, Dad got me into. Um, another thing was radio, which eventually led to shortwave radio. Um, when I was a little kid, I had one of these, you know, these brightly colored radios with the microphone, and you could go around and annoy the living crap out of everybody. <laughs> well, I had one of those. And um, I just, you know, from a young age, I liked, you know, listening to radio, AM, FM, turning around the, tuning around the different stations. And then as I got older, like maybe, I don't know, 9, 10, 11 years old, something like that, he started letting me play around with this uh, scanner. Um, it was an old Bearcat scanner. Um, I seen it up on eBay once. I can't remember what the official model number is, but that's not important, and, um, well, anyhow, he started letting me play around with that, and that's how I discovered amateur radio, because, um, in the booklet for the instructions for the scanner, it had, you know, the different frequencies you can, you know, scan through and listen to, and for some reason, you know, amateur radio, I was like, oh, well, was that? And Dad said, well, they're kind of like phone operators, which, you know, <laughs> was kind of like a, a vague description. So, you know, I punched up that, you know, from 144, one, yeah, 144 four megahertz to like 148 megahertz. And, you know, started scanning through those bands. Then I discovered the local repeater in Juno, um, 164640 megahertz, uh, the W9TCH repeater. And... I don't know why, but I enjoyed listening to those old farts who, you know, talk on that repeater. So, you know, after finding out that I liked listening to that, you know, they had told me about, you know, CB radio and, you know, amateur radio and shortwave radio, which eventually, um, in two, the Christmas, yeah, it was after Christmas 2000, um, I got my first shortwave radio. This isn't the... The, um, the first one, that, um, I bought another one because the first one that I had of this I gave to a friend of mine so he could get into shortwave radio. But this was it right here. And I remember I would bring it downstairs sometimes and me and Dad would sit at the kitchen table and we'd, you know, tune around the bands and listen to, you know, <laughs> Brother Scare and um, Alex Jones. There for a while, me and him listened to Alex Jones' um almost religiously, um, before our opinions of the <laughs> nutball dropped. <laughs> Needless to say, don't really listen to him anymore. Well, I do from time to time, but don't take him seriously like he used to. Um, but, you know, thanks to Dad, you know, I'm a shortwave enthusiast. Well, as you can tell, here on my desk, you know, the tube types, your analog radios, 
You got the digital radios. I know when he was younger, Dad had some kind of helicrafters, and he said it kind of looked like this um, realistic DX-160. So I have a general idea of which one he had, um, probably the Helicrafters S120s, something like that. I'm not sure. I'll have to re-go through that, um, the book of uh, various radios and see if I can get a general idea. And then finally, the last thing... Oh, oh wait, no, this isn't last. Sorry, getting ahead of myself. Um, another thing um, that I got into that Dad really encouraged was reading. Um, from a young age, I just, you know, it just took off. I just loved reading. And kind of kicking myself now, I just took um, this one book I was showing the mom. Um, I took it into Grandma's because uh, we're starting to move stuff over there. Because, well, that's long and complicated. I'm not going to go into that. But, oh, I should have kept that here so I could show that to everybody. I'll have to do that in a future video. But um, one of the books that Dad owned that, you know, I now own is his Amplified Bible. Um, he had two Bibles left. I got this one, and my brother got the King James Version, because I already have a really nice King James Version Bible, but I really wanted this one. But, um, oh, here, let me, here, let me grab the camera here real quick. This is going to get a little shaky, but I'm going to just give you a quick view of my bookshelves. Um, not everything is here, because like I said, starting to pack stuff up, but, now let's see here. Well, there's that one that's over by the window, and then there's one next to it. Um, the one that has the um, Godzilla um, Final Wars figure on top of it, that bookcase right there, that's all either Horus Heresy or Warhammer 40K books. Um, and I have spent a lot of money on those books. Um, which, you know, I'm trying to keep in mind with some of the stuff as I'm trying to thin stuff out before we move. Um, you know, some stuff I'm, you know, keeping for sure, but, you know, some stuff I've had with my book collection for years, and I just never read it, and I don't think I'm ever going to get around to reading it. And, well, if I want to, I can always see if the library has it, so I'm, you know, kind of thinning that out. And finally, one of the other things that get, Dad got me into was jazz music, um, like Dave Brubeck, Miles Davis, um, John Coltrane, Wes Montgomery, and Dad didn't have a whole lot of stuff, you know, near the end here, but um, some of it still had, because, um, well, like the records here, these jazz records, he's allowed them to keep them with my collection, because, well, obviously, he just, you know, didn't have room for it with his stuff, so these have been part of my collection for years now. So I got, you know, Dave Brubeck's Greatest Hits, which I don't know how many times I've listened to this album. And we got Dave Brubeck Quartet, Bossa Nova USA. And then uh, Sketch Henderson and the Tonight Show Orchestra with Sketch Tonight. And I know this isn't jazz music, but this is one of the bands he really loved. 38 Special with the... Uh, this is the album Special Forces. If I remember correctly, I found this one for him at the local um, the, um, th uh, thrift store. So, yeah, this is uh, some of the stuff in my collection that originally came for Dad or was, you know, inspired for Dad. So, this is my, you know, my, I don't know if I want to call it like a tribute or memorial video, but kind of like uh a video sharing you, you know, with all of you, my loyal followers, followers, and friends. Oh God, I hate when I get tongue-tied. The stuff that I've gotten into, and you know, the biggest influence. So I hope everyone enjoyed the video, and as always, peace and all that good stuff.